The Battle for Paul Bunyan's Axe. Welcome to week 13, everybody. Two regular season games left for the Minnesota Gophers in this 2013 NCAA college football season. The Gophers got back on the winning track last week, beating Penn State 38-21 and becoming bowl eligible with a record now standing at six wins and four losses. Today they go for their fourth conference victory against the Wisconsin Badgers to take home Paul Bunyan's Axe. And week 13 is underway from TCF Bank Stadium. Philip Nelson leaves the Gophers offense on the field for their first drive of the day. And Nelson will go play action on the first play and dumps it off to Goodger. He might have lost a couple on there, but a flag is down. And they're going to call Wisconsin with the personal foul face mask, 15-yard penalty. And now the Gophers facing third down and nine. Three wide shotgun for Nelson. He slides right to evade pressure on the run, and he's caught from behind and dropped for a sack, a loss of three, fourth and 12. And here's the opposing offense, quarterback Joel Stavi out of the shotgun, James White is the tailback. Draw play first, play for the Badgers up the middle, a gain of six for James White. I expect a lot of running today, Minnesota runs about a 50-50 split, and Wisconsin has two great halfbacks, Melvin Gordon and James White, but on third and three, Stavi to throw, he finds Frederick, but shy of the first down, it's fourth down and short. And Minnesota take two now on offense. Shotgun for Philip Nelson. Little read options. He goes up the middle. Nelson keeping it. And he takes a hit. And he has a Minnesota first down. Minnesota moves the chains. And now Nelson makes an adjustment. Split shotgun look. Here's the pressure. Pass out of the backfield. Caught by Kirkwood. He breaks a tackle. And he'll pick up 11, making it third and four. Minnesota loves to do this on third down. Split shotgun, three wide. Here's a snap to Nelson. Blitz by Wisconsin. The pressure gets to Nelson. His pass is incomplete. And Wisconsin's defense holds again. And so three drives and three punts so far in this game. And now Stave gives to White. Up the middle, he has some room. And a gain of nine for a first down. Minnesota's rush defense has played well all year, but this is a big test against this big Wisconsin line as White has some room. He hurdles a defender, and he's across midfield, and James White being chased inside the 20. He's gone. James White, touchdown Wisconsin. The game's first points come on a long touchdown run from James White. About a 73-yard run. Wisconsin strikes first, now Minnesota trying to answer. Nelson fakes the handoff. Fires to Andre McDonald who makes the catch, a first down across the 40, a gain of 22 for McDonald. That's 39 catches on the year now for McDonald, tied for first on the team with Isaac Frickty. Now here's the give to Kirk, one up the middle, no room, he might have gotten one yard. Second down and nine, two receivers right, Nelson takes the snap. Fires short, caught by Crawford Tufts, and the power is way for a Minnesota first down, nine yards. Gophers getting some short plays to move the chains. Effective drive thus far. And now Kirkwood, he might have gotten three. It's going to be third down and eight. So Minnesota shotgun again for Nelson. Three wide receivers. And here's the snap. Here's the blitz from Wisconsin. And Nelson breaks out of one sack, but then he goes down for a loss of nine. Fourth and long. That last drive from Minnesota appeared to have some promise, but those third down blitzes are killer. And now Stave to James White up the middle. He's crossed the century mark, and he has a first down in the gain of 15 on this carry. James White's already off to a very good start in this game. It's the start of the second quarter, and James White running outside. He has some room. A great block in the secondary. Another 11. First and 10. Watt in motion. Hand off White. Power run to the left side. More running room, and no one can get to him until another gain of 11 yards. And their mascot thinks he's Hulk Hogan. So far, this run defense is getting gashed. Now Melvin Gordon in the game to give White a break, and he's showing off the power now, staying on his feet. That's 13 yards from Melvin Gordon. Two very talented running backs Wisconsin can hit you with, and now it's third and four. Stave back to pass. Not a very good pass rush. He fires outside. Jacob Peterson makes the catch, and he's down immediately. It's only a gain of two, tackled by James Manuel. So Wisconsin tacks on a field goal. It's now 10-0. Minnesota trying to get their first points of the day. Short pass is caught by Crawford Tufts. That will be good for six. It's third down. Minnesota three wide shotgun. Nelson fakes. And now in the pocket. He goes deep. All alone. Devin Crawford Tufts holds it in. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. That's one way to get back in the game. A 78-yard touchdown pass from Philip Nelson to Devin Crawford Tufts who ran the sluggo and the safeties just forgot about him and he ran free. 10-7, Wisconsin still leads. High formation, expect more running. And it is James White just following his blocks. And across the 40, a big first down run towards midfield, a gain of 24. 
These are gashes unlike we've seen this season, especially against running backs. And now James White up the middle. He makes a man miss. Brock Vereen looks silly. 23 from James White. This is out of control. This defense is not shedding their blocks, and Wisconsin's just overpowering them. Stave to throw, and the first catch of the day for Jared Abradaris, an eight-yard catch. First and ten, shotgun. Draw play, James White. He looks to be corralled, but they can't bring him down, and Manuel finally does after nine. This is getting crazy. Second down and one, Gordon in the backfield. Handoff left side, he powers through. Oh my goodness, Ben Perry the fourth. You have to give better effort than that. Melvin Gordon, touchdown Wisconsin, 16 to seven. Wow, with that blocking, maybe I could play running back for Wisconsin. Second down and six for the Gophers, and McDonald makes the catch underneath. The slot receiver gets a first down in the gain of seven. First down and 10, Goodger in motion. It's a sweep to Kirkwood on the inside. Not much on the day for him, but he gets six on this carry. On third and seven, split shotguns, three wide. And here's the house blitz. Nelson flushed outside, pass caught by Gillum on the run. Across midfield, a gain of 17. Excellent play against the blitz. Wisconsin rushed seven on that last third down play. And Minnesota came up with the first down. Now it's second and six to the outside. And the pass is intercepted. Intended for Devin Crawford Tufts. And I think Nelson just felt the pressure and forced that one in the coverage and wanted Crawford Tufts to make a play. He didn't even know the pass was being thrown, but the safety was right there. A big missed opportunity for points for Minnesota. It's 17-7 at the half, and Wisconsin is running away from the Gophers right now. Only up by 10. It's still a game. Second half up next. We're going to have the halftime now with a little recruiting. Today, focusing on safeties. And Minnesota has another commit. 6-1 safety, Andre Gaines. A pretty balanced safety will help provide some depth after Brock Green graduates this year. And then Steve Randolph, who was a very exciting prospect. He's only 5'11", but this dude can hit. And Minnesota needs that presence in the backfield once Brock Green is gone to be that defensive enforcer in a way and crush receivers over the middle and make plays on the running backs. One more player I want to look at at cornerback is a commit, Sam Graves, three-star prospect, a 6'2 corner, big-bodied, strong, physical, good in man coverage, good in zone. I'm excited to see him play next year. He is a commit for the Minnesota Gophers and could have a chance to play early with all these graduates that Gophers are going to have. But that's all for this week, guys. We'll see if Minnesota can clean some things up on defense in the second half. That's up next. And here comes the Wisconsin rushing attack. And James White is nearing 200 yards after half a game of playtime. Melvin Gordon in the game now as he takes the handoff up the middle. And he'll power through a defender. And Gordon has a first down. Give him 11 yards. And the running is still running well early into the third quarter. And it's James White now up the middle. And Manuel is there. A good play to hold him on third down. He only gets two. That's a big stop for the Gophers. Now is their chance to swing some momentum. Here's Donnell Kirkwood. He has a hold to the outside. He's going to pick up seven or eight on this carry. A good start to this drive. It's third down and three. Kirkwood motions out of the backfield and Nelson back to throw. Rolling right and he fires and Crawford Tufts. Looks like he wanted him, but he ran kind of into coverage. So Minnesota goes three and out, no good there, and now they stack the box to stop James White, who breaks to the outside, and Travis takes him down, but he gets 18 yards in the process. And the gashes are just, you can't have these constant double digit carries. Now it's Gordon again, and nine yards, so it's less than double digits that time, but it's still a first down. First down and 10, offset eye. Stave hands off to Gordon, running to the outside, and Travis comes down to make a play. He's pulled down from behind, that's 11 more. So our pass defense got lost two weeks ago. Now the run defense is nowhere to be seen as Corey Clement is in the game now. The third string running back, he gets 10 on his first carry. Wisconsin's offensive line is increasing their draft stock big time today. Here's Gordon again. This time the run blitz works. He loses two tackle in the backfield. It's third down and 16. Minnesota stacks the box and now backs off into his own. Stave rolls right, throws across his body. Interception! James Manuel the 15-yard line. Gophers football, a turnover they needed. And now Minnesota, after the turnover, they have to take advantage. Only a three-man rush from the Badgers. And Nelson has nowhere to go. He steps up into a sack. Third and 16, things are not going well for the Maroon and Gold. Nelson in his own end zone. He rolls right, can't have a safety here. He fires to McDonald. He makes the catch well shy of the first down. And the Badgers should have good field position after this punt by Eldred out of the end zone. The left-footed kick goes back to Jared Abradaris at his own 43. Takes the punt, goes upfield across midfield. A 12-yard return. 
So third and six, tight end in motion. James White in the backfield, but a throw from Stavi. Going deep, left side, cut by Frederick, touchdown. The Badgers increase their lead, a 41-yard touchdown pass. Stavi has not thrown much, but this one was on the money. Touchdown, Badgers. Wow, just like that, Wisconsin makes it 24 to seven. Near the end of the third quarter, Nelson running option left, pitches back to Kirkwood, and a good option play results in a 12-yard carry. So the fourth quarter is here, Minnesota's down by 17, they have to get some big plays, and here's a nice play from Nelson to McDonald, 16-yard catch. In Badger territory, just across midfield, and Nelson flushed out right on the run, falling, and the pass is hauled in by Fricky, give him six points, or yards. Third down and two, four down territory for the Gophers. It's a handoff to Kirkwood, and he gets enough for the first down to give him about six, seven, eight yards on the run, and now in field goal range. Not much on the ground today for the Gophers. Obviously a lot more for the Badgers, and now on second and 11 to the sideline, and Nelson's throw, 15 yards to Devin Crawford Tufts. This offense is still fighting. First down and 10, under six minutes to play. Nelson deep outside, and an inaccurate pass intended for Crawford Tufts. And that may have been a touchdown they missed on, or at least a first and goal play. Now here's the blitz on third down, and Nelson outside on the money to Frickney, 17. First down and goal, offset eye. Nelson, and whoa, that was a nice hard count as the center got taken out. That'll be an obvious encroachment. And now second down and goal. Goal line formation, power running to Kirkwood, and he is taken down a gain of zero. And now third and goal, what do you do here? Back to Kirkwood on the ground, running outside, he breaks the plane, he is in! Donnell Kirkwood, two yard touchdown run. It's 24 to 14, and a studio update as Indiana is giving Ohio State a run for their money and they're undefeated. So the Badgers are now up by 10 points, 419 to go. Stave, a little read option, he's gonna keep it. Up to the first down, marker, he's hit, and the ball's out! Minnesota has it, Aaron Hill on the recovery. If that's a fumble, it's Minnesota's football. And it was Ben Perry the fourth with the hit. That's a clean fumble. The defense comes up with a huge turnover, a 10 point game, four minutes to go, plenty of time. Here's the blitz, Nelson's throw cut underneath by Lincoln, pull sec. That's a first down, a gain of 10. Now at the 34 yard line, 35 handoff, Kirkwood trying to go up the middle, not a ton of room, he might have gotten five yards. It's second down and five, Nelson off the play action. Rolling right, fires middle, caught by Isaac Frickty inside the 20, 14 yards. Inching closer towards the end zone, two receivers right, Nelson back to throw, fires to the end zone, touchdown! Isaac Frickty from 13 yards out, we have a one score ball game now. Does this Gophers defense have one more stop in them? Melvin Gordon in the backfield, handoff up the middle and he has some room, breaking a tackle and Vereen takes him down, it's a gain of nine and a half. Second and short, Minnesota stacking the box on every play awaiting the run. Stave though, he's gonna throw on second and short. And he fires to Abraderis who makes the catch in Minnesota territory. Catches him off guard for a gain of 18. And they're running this clock down. Two seconds left on the play clock, snap. And now Gordon in the backfield, down he goes. Damian Wilson, a loss of three. Second and 13, Minnesota has two timeouts. Hand off, Gordon up the middle. Good tackle, a gain of four, third and nine. Just one more play, the defense has to hold them, it's third and nine. What will they do here? Minnesota stacks the box, and Stave back to pass. He's gonna throw it deep down the left side to the end zone, and touchdown! No! Jordan Frederick, 46 yard touchdown. Stave dropped back, there was no play action. He just chucked it deep, and this was so close, and Frederick made the catch. A daggering shot of this Gophers defense. It's now 31 to 21 after the extra point. Down by 10. A studio update again as Ohio State has held off Indiana and they are 11 and 0. Down by 10. Minnesota's last shot. They have one timeout in two minutes. Nelson's quick throw over the middle. Good catch by Goodger. That's good for a first. And now two receivers right. Nelson drops back. A three-step drop. And now running away from defenders as he is sacked. The loss of eight. And uh, get that graphic off the screen. Is our quarterback hurt? Nelson is down. That is not good. And he is hurt. Nelson left the game. It was not a knee injury. He was holding his head. It appears to be a concussion. So Mitch Leidner in the game is his first throw and McDonald can't haul it in. That's me third and 18. 
tough spot here for Mitch Leidner. Down by 10, a minute 21 to go. And here's the house blitz. Pass is cut by James Gillum on the backfield. He'll get a dozen back. So fourth down and six. Three wide split shotgun. Last chance for the Gophers. And Leidner, he's got to run away from pressure. On the run to the right. And now tosses it long. And it is dropped by Roderick Williams. Had it in his hands. Just let it hit the ground. Minnesota's going to lose this football game after this drop by Roderick Williams, 31 to 21. And that is the game as the Gophers are once again unsuccessful in reattaining Paul Bunyan's axe from the dreaded Wisconsin Badgers from just across the Mississippi. They celebrate here in TCF Bank Stadium with that axe in Minnesota. The story of the game is the rushing defense and how lackluster it was. Wisconsin had over 350 rushing yards in this game. And they didn't pass much, only a dozen throws, 12 throws from Joel Stavi. But two of those were deep balls that beat Martez Shabazz and resulted in two touchdowns. So 14 points from the air as the running game controlled the clock and you had long drives. Minnesota loses their last game at home. They're now 6-5 and five, and their last game on the season is a tough one on the road at Michigan State against the 9-2 Michigan State Spartans who are number 16 in the nation. The last regular season game for the Gophers this year as they are bowl eligible. We'll see how the end of the season shakes up and hopefully the starting quarterback is back. Philip Nelson left the game with a concussion. We'll see if he's back next week. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the regular season finale.